Hi, my name's Phil Gardner and welcome to Fun With Boxes. Every now and then a small game comes along that just blows me away. And most recently it's often a game by publisher Itten Games. And the last time this happened was with Viking Seesaw, an absolutely brilliant little dexterity game designed by Rainer Knizia and one that became a favourite to play with two to four players, small enough to carry in a little bag and easy and quick to set up and play at a convention or in a pub with some friends or at a family gathering for example. Though my preferred method is in a pub with some friends. Thank you. A classic Brilliant, simple, fun game. Something that Itten Games excels at. Well, they've done it again. This time with an incredibly simple little game called Wonder Bowling. Designed by Susumi Kawasaki. Wonder Bowling is a 10 pin bowling board game that you can set up in under a minute. What? A 10 pin bowling board game, you say? That comes in a small box? No. Well, yes. Come on, you have to be intrigued by that. Well, let's take a quick fun with boxes look at what you get in a game of Wonder Bowling. Wonder Bowling is a brilliantly simple game where players do not roll a ball to knock down pins, no. Instead, they use a bowling stick to tap the bowling lane and make vibrations that will cause the bowling pins to fall over. A game of Wonder Bowling is not about knocking all the pins down. It's all about the number of pins left standing up. On your turn, if you knock down at least one pin and have the same number of pins left standing up, that matches one of your target chips, then it's a nice shot and you flip over that target chip. But if only one pin is left standing, then that's a strike and you get to jump up and down and shout excitedly. But if you knock them all down, uh, then that's not so exciting as you will have to take a penalty chip. Boom. Okay, let's take a look at how you set up a game of Wonder Bowling. First, Place the inner box, which is the bowling lane, this side up in the centre of the table. Give each player two strike chips, which they place in front of themselves this side up. Then flip over all the target chips and shuffle them up, and then give each player two chips, which are then placed face up, number side showing, next to the player's strike chips. The remaining chips are set to one side face down. These will be the penalty chips. And the game rules say to place six target chips to one side, with only four chips available to set aside in a six player game. And that's it, you're all set up and ready to play. How to play? Well, you start off by choosing the starting player, and it and suggests to pick the person who last went bowling. Then the player to their right will set up all the pins on the bowling lane. And the only rule for setting up the pins is that they can be placed in any order within the border, but that none of the pins may touch each other. Then the player takes their turn by picking up the bowling ball stick and uses either end to tap the bowling lane box to try and knock down some pins. The player may hit any part of the box so long as they do not touch the pins directly, and they must knock down at least one pin on their turn. If none of the pins fall down, the player will get to take one more turn to try and at least knock some down. But if no pins fall over, then they will be penalised, which I will cover in just a moment. So long as at least one pin has been knocked down, we then count the number of pins that remain standing up. If the number standing up matches one of the player's target chips, then they have done a nice shot and can flip over that chip. If however there is only one pin left standing up, then they have performed a strike and may flip over a strike chip or up to two target chips. And there are penalties in the game that will cause a player to have to pick up an additional target chip from the supply and place down in front of themselves. A player will get a penalty if they knock down all the pins on their turn or do not knock down any pins on their turn. Or 
they'll get a penalty if they touch a pin directly and knock it down. If any of these things happen, then their turn ends and they must take a penalty chip. Players continue to take turns clockwise around the table, trying to knock down the required number of pins or, or to get a strike with only one pin remaining. And if there is only one pin remaining or someone knocks down all the pins, then, when this happens, the next player will have to reset the 10 pins onto the lane and then the game will continue. So, you only reset the game if all the pins have been knocked down or if there's only one pin remaining and someone did a strike. End of the game. The game ends when one player flips over the last of their chips and they are declared the winner. Survival rule. The rules state that if the penalty chip pile runs out, then the game enters a survival mode and from that point on anyone who suffers a penalty is immediately eliminated from the game. And again the winner will be the first person to flip all their chips or be the last person standing. Alternative rules. We do not play with the survival rule. We simply keep on playing until someone wins. And if someone has to take a penalty and the chip pool has run out then we ignore that and just keep on playing. Another thing we do is only flip over one target chip for a strike and not two target chips. This makes for a longer, fun-filled game of mayhem. So there you have it, Wonder Bowling, an incredibly simple game that is an absolute blast to play. It's just great silly fun, where everyone is involved cheering on each other and celebrating successes or consoling failures. It's the perfect filler game for a board game convention and a great game to play in the pub with friends, for example, as I keep saying. And it's a game for everyone of all ages and everyone who has played this game with us has absolutely loved it. It's just great fun. And as a result, this gets two huge bowling pin size fun with boxes thumbs up. An absolutely fantastic game that I would highly recommend you hunt down and pick it up if you can. Well, thanks as always for watching. Please like and subscribe. I would love to build the channel and bring you all more content. And in the meantime, please take care and bye for now.